Many modifiers can be applied to containers, which allow us to modify several views all at once. For example, if I took these four text views here and wrapped them inside a VStack, I can now apply a single font modifier to the VStack to have all the text views change at once. I might say, for example, there's a font of title. And you see they all four get bigger. Now this is what we call an environment modifier, and it's different from a regular modifier applied directly to a view. From a coding perspective, these modifiers are used exactly the same way as regular modifiers. However, they behave subtly differently. Because if any of these child views override the same modifier, the child version takes priority. As an example, we could say I want to have uh, these all using the title size font, but Gryffindor with a font of large title. That will override it. And so this font is an environment modifier. This one will locally override it with a custom font. It's not always the case though. For example, if I said I want to have a blur effect of radius five points on the VStack, I can't override that for Gryffindor by saying, oh yeah, you're gonna have a blur radius of zero and unblur it somehow. That won't work. Blur is a regular modifier, so any blurs applied to it are added to the VStack blur, not just overwriting it and replacing it somehow. Now, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is no actual way of knowing ahead of time which modifiers are environment modifiers and which are regular modifiers other than reading the individual documentation page for each modifier and hope somewhere it's mentioned inside there. Still, I would rather have them and not because being able to apply one modifier in lots of places is much better than copying the same thing again, again, again into multiple places.